Well, that was a late start. Uh, 20 past nine, I'm only just taken off. Hey, it took me like an hour to pack up my tent. It kept blowing away. Ooh, so I think I'll head inland more. So lucky Ray, well, unlucky Ray and lucky Ray. So uh, one of the cops who attended the scene is going to his bike and grabbing his gear that he needs and taking it into the hospital for him. So, mate, the generosity of the people over here, you Tasmanians are freaking gold. And um, so I'm going to keep heading west and, uh, yeah, leaving it late in the day. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I've got all the time in the world. So I just looked at the forecast again last night and actually the rain that was supposed to happen over here is not. It's just going to be overcast and cloudy, maybe one day with a little bit of drizzle. So um, that's it. Get on the road and go. I don't know. I'm just, just going to keep heading west. So I'd like to avoid the main highway, but there's kind of no roads that go northwest and still take me up to here so i've kind of got no choice but to brave the wind on the main highway to smithton but anyway i'm just just keen to get onto this side of the coast so i'll do the tourist route thing today and um see how we go all right let's go didn't leave anything behind no Famous Tasmanian scallop pie. I'm going in. <laughs> More adventure riders. They're everywhere. This is great. <laughs> How you going, buddy? And that's a big bike. We're just talking bearings. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many adventure riders everywhere. Right, it'd be bloody midnight before I get to the west coast at this rate, but oh wow. <laughs> What a mixture of bikes. TS650. So this is what everyone keeps telling me to upgrade to when I progress with my riding. <laughs> oh, buddy. Stopped to have a quick chat with these guys, and they're from Melbourne, Victoria, and they ride once a month together, and then they do their annual Tassie trip. And because they missed it last year, instead of four days, they've done eight. So they're having a fat time. So yeah, tomorrow, end of your journey tomorrow night. Yeah. Cheers to Club Friday. Club Friday. Right. Cheers to Wheels and Freedom. Yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah. hope when you go back, there's no Rona and it's pulled its head in. Yeah, Otherwise, you might want to just delay your trip and yeah, stay exactly. here a little bit longer. We're hoping for a longer lockdown. <laughs> That's it. Cool, guys. All right. 
Well, I won't see you on the road because you're going in the opposite direction to me. But anyway, have a great trip, everyone. Pleasure meeting you, boys. Stay upright. Big collection of bikes. Amazing, eh? Travel three quarters of the way around Australia and hardly see any bikes and then get to Tassie and every bike in Australia is in Tassie. <laughs> Here's my girl. Come on, darling. Let's carry on. All right. It's three o'clock. I better keep moving, eh? <laughs> the day is disappearing fast. There's a good girl, eh, darling? <laughs> There's a good girl. Can't wait for the dirt part of this adventure to start. So blowy down here, even the seagulls are knackered from flying. So I'm a lot, then I might carry on to Smithton or maybe even Arthur Beach. You know, yeah.
Give me the cold of the forest rather than the blowy wind of the coast <laughs> any day of the week. Whew. Man, that was hard work. And now I'm in the beautiful stuff. Now I'm back to the beautiful forest. I'm then going to come back out to the blowy stuff. Whew. So a couple of lock gates. Dismal Road. Locked Dismal Road. Ah. Oh, I just stopped giving my hands a rest from that wind. Oh. Hi. That's a nice shiny truck. Just keep meandering around everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I did, yeah. Yeah, it might be just a nice little one tucked in here. It was windy. 
Mate, oh, were you in the caravan? Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Hard work. And then I went to the lookout, mate, standing, I was on a 45, like, nearly getting blown off. So, yeah, I'm a bit knackered now. Perth. Yeah, yeah. When he turns 18, you can do what I did. When he turns 18, you can do what I did and run away from home. Yeah. Eight months ago. Yeah, 30,000 kilometres. Yeah, 30,000. Yeah. Yeah. Got a Honda CRF 250L. Completely overcapitalized and modified though. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks mate. Cheers. from the wind. Ooh. Okay, surprisingly, it's not cold in this little nook. <laughs> so this is what I would call a quick camp when I can't be stuffed setting up the tent or even doing the hammock properly. So deck chair, the mat for my kitchen instead of setting up the table. There's my hammock, no pressure at all. It's just slung up there like that is, that is as loose as loose can be. And same there, that's not even tied to the bike. I've just like wound the rope around it just to keep it off the ground. But the hammock is actually on the ground. So I've got my air mattress in it, my air pillow, my Cedar Summit sleeping bag, and just slung up my mozzie net on the bungee cord. That's it. The bike, people, is not gonna fall on top of me. <laughs> there is, uh, it's on stable ground. And on this side, I've got my centre stand down as well. Thanks, Brad. And uh, yeah, that's rock solid. So that ain't going anywhere. It doesn't matter how strong the wind is. And there you go. So that's all. That's the only reason why I did that. Stop any wind that does come in this little nook. Stop it flying away. Apart from that, that's it. It's my bed tonight. Simple. Love it. And if my bike does decide to fall, which is impossible, it won't. Um, it's just going to fall this way. My legs are over there. So, time for our miso soup, followed by roast lamb and veg for dinner tonight. But I forgot a bottle of red. <laughs> oh, well, nevertheless. That's it. Whip up a miso now. And in the back country, that's my favourite one, the roast lamb and veg with mint sauce, mint gravy. Yum. And a coffee later on. All right, let's get the show on the road. And that's how I replenish my salt. <laughs> bon appetit.